Hey guys, it's Will here again with another video review on bolt action stuff coming to you live from my poorly lit sort of yeah, poorly lit room. So sorry about that. Uh, but main focus isn't going to be on me. So we're going to be doing a review, another bolt action review, actually something really cool. I'm excited for, uh, this isn't really my theater. I like to read about it, but it's not my theater. I want to collect in bolt action. But because me and uh, Ryan, a friend on the channel you may have seen before, um, has played a lot of the Africa Core sort of desert stuff because he really likes his Italians, uh, we play a lot of that. So I got this in response to that. So the one thing I'm talking about, if you guys heard, you can probably guess it with the whole talking about Italians thing, is that we are going to be talking about the gentleman's war starter box from from warlord games here that just came out uh for street release at least last week um it took a while for me to get it because i was trying to find a ride in town stuff so but here we go we have the the box here we have the sets And yeah, in the back here. So yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look here. We'll bring to the other camera. So here we go. We have the box here. Desert Africa Core box. So it's gonna be mid the mid war slash early war. This is all plastic in here. And there's actually some new new vehicles that you can only get in this box set right now. That's the main reason why I bought it. I lack armored cars. The only army I have an armored card for is the Italians, because you need the the Belinda, the Belender, whatever it's called. <coughs> I always, I'd always recommend that one for anyone looking to start Italians. But we have that side, more sides. There's the vehicles. So here you go, we have what comes in the box right there. So we have the book, plus the assembly guide, 24 dudes, 24 dudes, one car each, water slides, damage markers, templates, markers, dice, and a pocket rule book, which I'm excited for too. So we have, because it's a newer box, the new combined arms. So this is a great way to start the, if you wanna play that, it's a cool campaign mode stuff that they recommend for continuing your collection in the desert war there so we have the rule book here Ooh, mine's got a good old gash on the box there we'll actually take a look at it it is the full-on rule book for second edition It's got stats for your armies in here, so you don't need the army books, which is nice. Just like how old Warhammer books used to do it, they give you the, they give you the basic special rules, and you and uh, generic units and cool special vehicles for each army in this book. So you don't need any codexes and stuff to play. You just play with this. So, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna stick this in my bag. I don't have to take my hardcover anywhere because that's starting to get worn out. So just like the uh, tank core box I did a review on, or the Pegasus Bridge. Here's a sort of book, explains everything that happened in it, in uh, that era. Sort of like characters to know, Aaron Wormel, his model. Then we have Montgomery, he has a model. <laughs> Talking about big ones. Uh, here's how they recommend building the British with their sort of sheet to tell you like what parts. There's the Germans, same idea. And this is cool, This they've been adding these to the new ones. Uh, so here's how to paint them using different paints from Vallejo and uh, Army Painter. Scenarios, 
So the idea looks like you take this step by step. So it's like you build your infantry and play scenario one, then scenario two, and then scenario three is probably going to have it. So you add more special units to it. And then you have painting and then painting the vehicles. And then you have the actual bodies. I believe they're multi-part bodies, so you can build them as different versions, uh, depending on late and early war. Same with like command vehicles. I might build it as a command vehicle for the German one. But yeah, they're nice brand new instructions how to do different stuff. And then of course, here's the what they recommend to add. Of course, you can't have the African campaign without adding the brand new Italians to their to your roster. And of course, quick guidebook on the back. Oh, the, another quick play sheet. Just like on that back of the book, so you can give this to your friend. Rulers. Then on the inside here, quite a bit of goodies. We have the data cards and transfers for the vehicles in just for the vehicles it looks like yeah just for the vehicles and it looks like they combine the two on here so this is a unique decal sheet to this oh it actually has all their stuff on here actually let me pull that out this is this is new i've never seen them do this before so on this transfer sheet here you can see part of my shakiness you have the you have the German decals, the mark, the, the cross there, the desert African core sort of symbols, the license plates. You have the stripes on the arms here for the Germans and the British side by side. You have their helmet markers too. And then you have the set uh, symbols for the British there and their, their desert uh, guys. They only give you one number for each, so you can build these vehicles. There's supposed to only be one in there, so. Then we have the stat cards, the Rommel sort of command vehicle on it. Then you have the generic one that the Germans can have. Uh, they can be used for all theaters of war. There you go, British one. So again, they can all be used in the game because we have more of those those things, more of these damage markers, the plastic bases. Then we have on the top, we have the one of the cars. We have the, I believe this is the German one. Yes, this is the German one made by Tallery. So we have the order dice again with those plastics. Ooh, I like the desert ones. So these these are new colors to the to the game. So there should be enough dice for each side. But again, they'll go into my bag of holding. In here we have the sprues. It looks like they have split them side by side. So looking at the German sprue here, um, so they don't really have any shorts. They're, they still have the legs, but it looks like their special comes from the um, sleeves potentially. Even then it doesn't look like any, they have rolled up sleeves. Though they do have the special cork helmets that were made. The sprue here, and we take a closer look, we have the heads, the different sort of markings and the goggles, their pith helmets, which I think I'll make. So if you guys want to sort of like rip off cheaper, make these as Italians, you could. Their gear, but again, the gear is going to look wonky, but anyways. Their light, house, uh, light mortar that you can get here. And their machine gun crew 
They have an anti-tank weapon, anti-tank rifle. So you can build it either or. Their rifles and stuff. No STGs or Panzerfausts because they didn't get those yet. And then on the back here, you have your extra sort of like ammo pouches and stuff. And of course the back of the sprue there. So basically these guys were just given the Blitzkrieg sort of uniforms and through the power of the sun, it changed them to give them that African core gray. So it basically these are just add-ons to the early war Blitzkrieg models with the different helmets. These are the um, British or eighth army African, or African core. So actually these ones are the, yeah, no, yeah, these are it. So these are, um, yeah, so these are the same ones. Uh, they call these the Desert Rat ones. So this will make the different factions, uh, the Canadians, uh, the people from the Middle East and stuff, India, the, um, their countries, their factions, their colonies, whatever you want to call them. These will build those, plus you know your generic British. And because this is early war, there's a lot of Thompsons in here. For You don't have any Sten guns, they're just Thompsons. But as you can see here, they also too have a um, anti-tank rifle, which the cool thing they give you on this, which I wish the Germans one did too, but I believe these are newer, is that they give you sandbags. So I use some of the sandbags, some of the models from these to build, germ, uh, build Canadian engineers. I think I have a unit of five of them. So I think I'll use one, this sprue here to build another, just use, build another five sort of engineers and I'll have the flamethrower. So I'll have engineers. These work pretty well for that. And of course you have your, the cool things here, the rifles, you have like a whistle somewhere. Yeah, there it is. The whistle is right here. Your officer helmet or hat rifles, Thompson's with the stick mags and the handles. There you go. And then your guys with the turbans and the beards. And then of course your Australian slash sort of like a British, your, your British and Scottish. I think these guys and the Scottish dudes, but yeah. And then again, there's four sprues of these. And again, in one our many videos we've done unboxing, pin markers uh, for a quick overview for those who may not see the other ones, or depending on when I release this. The game works using a morale system. So when, the more you damage you take, the more things that happen to you that happens around you as the battle goes on, you'll start taking what they're called pin, so P-I-N. And the more that you get of these on your unit, the harder it is for you to do things. You have to do tests to make sure they don't run away. And if the value on this little dial here ever gets higher than or equals to their mor their base morale, so like uh, inexperience is eight, regular is nine, and um, veteran is 10. Some have more or higher, but you can usually never go above 10. But uh, they'll run. So it's a nice coolish reddish paper if anyone has played with the old Transformers with the Energon stuff, same plastic. We got the bases, got two that because basically they give you a box of each um they, yeah i think you're or even a i think you're a sprue off to make a full box of each because i think there was five again check out my review my review of the uh the desert guys for the the canadians and you'll see how many i believe it's five so i could be wrong we have your laying down bases for your rifle teams, your your anti-tank. So I'd recommend building an anti-tank, anti-anti uh, anti-tank anti rifle team for each, plus your mortars, and then uh, and your LMGs will be laying down. So build. You can only have one of each, unless you're. I think another. I think like China or Japan can have multiple, but like you can only really have one of each. And of course, just like in other videos. We have the blast templates, the bits that tell you the different um, conditions of your units, what have you. And yeah, so again, the newer sprues, but yeah. So I'm gonna give these away 
to people I know who are teaching how to play and stuff. So this one's going to go probably to Ryan. Uh, the other one in a video, if you guys, if it's not out before this one or not, uh, in the, uh, I'm going to be doing a review on the Tank War starter set for the British. I'll be giving that one to Bryce. And with that, the box itself is empty, excluding the packer, which is this person. I'm going to pack this back up and we will get to closing. So we're back at the end here. We're taking a look at the um, two new cars that you get from this box set. So we'll open up here. This is the British vehicle. The armored uh, car. This one's brand new from Warlord. So let's take a look there. It is in two pieces. So these are in two sprues, as you can see here. Just packed to the brim with stuff. With detailed interiors. And the armored paneling and stuff there for the turrets. A lot of internal detail there. Transmissions, extra bits, the weapons, axles, and the tires and the sides. German armored car. Uh, some who've seen this turret before, the ha new alt track truck I did for the uh, Hannah Mag alt, alt, whatever it's called. Uh, this sort of ring, the turret on this is basically the same as that one. I'll, in real life it is. Um, top's kind of the same too. I believe this sprue is basically just that. So if you've seen my alt truck uh, video, you'll know that some of that. But we'll go over it here anyways. So we got the tops here with the tires. With the transmissions. High detail spare tire with the cover over there. The bottom. And we have the second sprue here, which has the guns and stuff on it, the wire cage for the for the radio, extra gas cans, and the turrets. So you can make the small turret version or the large turret version. Large turret version, I believe, has the anti-tank uh, anti gun on it. That one's pretty good to build it as because of that, but you can build it as both. I'm going to build it as the uh, radio tank because I have the LT. So again, the bolt turrets can really fit on it if you fin dangle it. But yeah, that's the, uh, the two armored cars. So we'll get right to the end of the video here. So this was the Gentleman Wars box set from Warlord Games, a new two-player starter set uh, based in the Africa campaign slash Middle East during World War II. Um, I really like it. I wish, uh, just like, uh, I think, still think Banner Brothers is the better one because you get that terrain. Um, the Japanese one's pretty good because you get all new plastic stuff and some models that you'll actually use while playing that army, so that's second best. And this one I think would be third best. Because you're in the desert, there's not a lot of terrain, like houses and stuff that they, they make, slash you can get. So it's they give you more dudes instead to equal value. All their stuff you'll find, the money cost value will be equal to how much you'd spend anyways. Some though, it might seem a little bit sketch, but it's about the same doing math. Though I do wish, um, they, uh, and there's a picture here that you can see that has the um, trench, like um, stone walls and stuff that they make, or companies that they sell terrain for makes. I wish they would have thrown in uh, maybe, you know, maybe remove five dudes on each side and give us, um, or six dudes from each side because they're six man screws, remove a sprue from each side and give us this train here, just a bunch of sandbags and walls and um, give it to us on that because if you're playing desert stuff, you're going to, there's a lot of their missions. We, me and Ryan have the campaign, campaign books for these. 
So, and a lot of them want you to have dents and hills and, and sandbags. So it'd be really cool to have sandbags in this, but as a starter box, especially if you want to go out for campaign, which I think is pretty neat reading it. Ramel became huge there. Montgomery and Ramel, like the big, you know, back and forth, their rivalry grows from here. This is really where World War II explodes. Like it really goes off. So it's nothing, nothing to not read about and be excited for. Uh, I would be if I wasn't really into Market Garden, um, the disaster, the most disastrous uh, airborne assault ever. But again, you know, if you're running on pure analog, they didn't choose to, you know, hold back. It was stormy. It was bad. But yeah, uh, I would rec highly recommend this, playing it with a friend. The vehicles in it are worth it, and the models are really nice. I can say a lot of good things about this box set. The rule book is worth it, and all that stuff, the models, it's it's you're not losing anything getting this. You get everything. You can play straight from the box. All you need is clippers and glue. You can just play. But uh, with that, I'm going to go, guys. Thank you for watching this. It's been long enough as it is. I'm going to go edit this and hopefully post it tonight. So, yeah, we will see you guys later.